Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to give you another example of using the distributive property. Now, you can use the distributive property in this direction, expanding out, but you can also go this direction, taking something that's expanded and collapsing it down. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have 3x minus 24. So we're doing an algebraic example today. Now, if I want to use the distributive property to make this look more like this, the first thing I have to do is look for a common factor, something that's common to both 3x and 24. So what about this? 3x is just 3 times x, and 24 is 3 times 8. So now I have something in common, a 3 here and a 3 here. So I'm going to rewrite this like this, going this direction with the distributive property. I'm going to write the 3 on the outside, and then I'm going to write my parentheses. What goes inside the parentheses is whatever you have left over here, and you're going to keep your sign. So I took the 3 outside. That leaves me an x minus 8. So 3x minus 24 is equal to 3 times the quantity x minus 8. That's another way of using the distributive property. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want to know more about any of the topics we discussed, click on the links. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.